Hey everybody, how's it going today? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. It's time for another daily tarot card reading and this is going to be for Wednesday, October 7th. And the uh, deck I used for Wednesdays is the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition deck and this is just an amazingly, I find it super romantic and beautiful. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to shuffle out here guys and just, you know, thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of the the community and for all your love. So just going to have a quick look at what today could possibly bring. This is for all signs and based on the collective energy of what's going on at the time I do the reading, just having like lighting issues and camera angle issues, like nobody's business. But anyway, we'll keep on going because that's what we do. All right. So let's have a look at what today will bring and then we'll go from there. I'll do a deck cut and we'll have a look. So we've got the four of coins. So something really like rocking your world this week you guys you know Monday kind of looked a little bit bleak and then we got a little bit of an upswing on the Tuesday with the really positive starseed oracle card and then Wednesday comes in with the like the return of I was gonna say nervousness but I got the word calamity pushed into my head by spirit guides so um looks like a bit of a roller coaster of a week so far you guys so it's, it's like time to hang on so the Four of Coins is the Four of Pentacles, and if you're familiar with tarot, you'll recognize that the Four of Coins is that really, um, really scared, and it's typically an old man in the picture, and he's holding on to all of his money for dear life, like he's sitting on a pentacle, he's got his feet on a pentacle, he's holding on to them, and he's really nervous about what is going to happen in the future. So something is going to be throwing you off, you, you know? Um, end of story. So let's pull another card here. So we've got the seven of wands. So right away, that's an outside force. And this is, I don't see is what you guys are doing to yourself. There could be somebody purposely coming in here and they could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, they just, they kind of enjoy making other people feel uncomfortable. So this could be somebody in your family. They think that their sarcasm is hilarious. It could be somebody that you work with. They're, they are just new in their position and they think that they're so much better than everybody else. And it's making you uncomfortable. So I really don't like seeing this because when people act like they're better or, you know, they don't, um, they don't listen to when you push back and say, you know, you're you're really making me uncomfortable. I would appreciate it if you would say that in a different way or, you know, don't speak to me in that tone or something like that. And they think it's funny and they, they walk away. And I see this kind of person like being really close to you and probably want to um, be up to their old shenanigans again and come in and just ruffle your feathers and because they think it's hilarious and they probably brag about it too. You know, I, I don't even know what's going on with this person or why they're doing it to you, but I'm seeing that you're, you probably have an encounter with this person in your calendar. It might not even be today, um, but it's already starting to upset you. So um, yeah, what can you do about that? Let's see, let's, let's pull another card here, guys. Okay, so you've got the King of Swords. So this is a reminder for you guys to be absolutely just state your case and get out of Dodge. You know, you can just use this really, really cold um, energy. The King of Swords, he's just all about business in and out. You know, he'll be himself at home. Um, but when you have to deal with these people, you're going to have to just, you know, you can borrow it from me if you want to, because I have a really cold exterior when the scenario calls for it. You know, I can freeze people out so bad they'll think that they're at the North Pole. Um, you know, I can get a look on my face where people will not approach me. Um, you know, so you can take that from me if you would like to. I will lend you that energy if somebody is coming to pick on you or make you feel bad or whatever. Just know that I am right beside you and that if I was standing right beside you, if I was in that room, I would stand in front of you and take that shock for you. Okay, so just know that if this energy is coming towards you, you can just take my power 
and take my protection in this incident and know that I am going to lend you my energy so that you can do this, execute what you need to do and move on. And you don't even have to give people the time of day. You don't have to give people your reaction. You can just look at, pe at people and go, all right, you know, and just that's it. Just give them that. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Because sometimes you have to, you know, sometimes you just have to freeze people out and just to protect yourself a little bit better. And just know that I'm, I'm standing right beside you when this happens. Um, yeah, anyway. So I'm going to pull one more card here, you guys. Tarot's not always pretty. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you the facts. So this is going to be a huge benefit for you guys. You've got the Knight of Coins. So this is going to enable you to really feel like, wow, I really did that. I'm so proud of myself. I stood my ground. I didn't back down. I just totally blasted that person with my resting beach face, you know, and then there is another opportunity coming out of there. If this is something that is happening at work, you're probably really going to impress your boss. Um, if it's somebody in your family, you know, somebody's gonna come up to you, another relative, and say, it's about time somebody put them in their place. So this is really gonna be a huge accomplishment for you, um, you know, on a personal level, and then also on a karmic level. You'll probably get a standing ovation from your team in spirit. Your your angel guides are gonna go, yeah, you know, finally, good for you. You don't have to let people come in and dictate how your emotions are going to be running in any particular situation and just know you guys i have your back okay so namaste guys namaste take care bye